Hey everyone, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com. What I want to show you today is how to show OneDrive placeholders in your file explorer. So Windows 10 changed something critical with how OneDrive functions. For one, you can no longer install the modern OneDrive application, which allowed you to view the uh, files that you had stored online. And then secondly, in the file explorer, OneDrive no longer shows files that are not available offline. It only shows folders that you have specifically said you want to sync to your device. So that means if there is a file in your OneDrive that you want to see, you have to go to the web browser in order to find that document and then go ahead and download it. This to me is a mistake. I don't know why Microsoft made that change. Uh, it, it makes things a little bit more difficult. However, there is a workaround. This little hack here will essentially enable you to map your entire OneDrive uh, storage as a network drive. Now the documents will be available online rather than offline, but at least that will enable you to locate the document and then download it when you need it. So to set this up, all you need to do is go to this PC in your file explorer, click on this button here that says map network drive. Make sure that these two buttons here are checked. And then what we want to do here is put a specific string of text. So what you'll need to do first of all is go to your OneDrive in your web browser. So navigate to one of the folders and then go ahead and look in the address bar. And you want to copy a specific string of text that you'll see here. So after the ID equals, you'll copy the entire string of text up until the percentage sign, not including the percentage sign. So then you want to go ahead and add, copy that string of text. So I have that saved here in my notepad. It's that string right there. And then you're also going to need this string of text. So I would go ahead and maybe open a notepad so that you can paste those, these two strings of text in there. So you'll take this first string and then go back to your network drive mapping function, paste that first string of text. And then where these three uh, numeric symbols are these pound signs. You want to delete those and delete the brackets. And then in place of those, you're going to go ahead and paste this string of letters and numbers and then hit finish. All right. So then it's just going to ask you for your OneDrive login credentials. So this will be how you log into your Microsoft account. So your email address and password there, and you're going to want to check this box that says, remember my credentials. So that it doesn't ask you to log in each and every time you want to access one of these files, then say, okay. All right. So once it's finished, it should just basically close out. Now I've noticed that I don't see the network drive here immediately. So what I've needed to do a couple of times is actually close the file explorer and come back a little bit later. And then I will end up seeing that network drive. All right. So now after closing file explorer and then reopening it, uh, it may have something to do with your internet connection speed, honestly. Um, so things may be running a little bit sl more slowly here at my house here. Um, but then you'll have access to your entire list of folders in OneDrive. Now, none of these are going to be taking up any space on your hard drive. So just to show you what happens, if you were to go ahead and maybe download one of these files, you would just go into the folder. And again, depending on your internet speed, this may take a little bit longer than perhaps you would like. And again, that depends on the type of document. If you're just downloading a Word document or a picture, this should be relatively quick. Uh, if you're looking at a folder with a bunch of videos in it, like I am here, that may take a little bit more time. Now what I do next, just so that this isn't so confusing, I would go into my network locations under this PC and then rename this as OneDrive. And that is it. That's all there is to it. If you have any trouble with this, the one problem I ran into is I actually had the network sharing settings turned off on my PC. But when I went through this process, it notified me that those settings were turned off. And all I had to do was click on a button to turn that on. So that's the only problem I foresee you having. But if there's any other questions, feel free to leave a comment either in this uh, YouTube video or on the blog. Thanks for watching.